Right, finally, let's get all of this in place. There we go. All these are doing is using the available space. Now, the thing you'll tend to notice is you really don't need three farms for this, but what you could have is like one farm is the only one doing watering. For example, if I had this set up normally, then this farm would be doing watering and fertilizing, and these two would be doing harvesting, but they would only harvest within the area of this one farm. That can sometimes be really, really efficient. Uh, we'll see how it plays out this time, but for now, this is okay. We'll probably need more than this because we're going to be pushing these farms to their limit using magic. So we will most likely want to build out the uh, the grain behind them, but for the time being, this is, this is fine. We'll see how that does. Uh, we will add earth boosters to all of them. There we go. And you know what? For the sake of it, let's go ahead and add in an earth shrine as well. Uh, first, let me... Um, guess there's probably one of the best places to do it. Let's grab the earth shrine. Oh, it's not amazing, but I could have one there, one here, and then one there, I guess. It's not terrible. It'll be interesting to see how they work, actually. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'll see you in a second. Yeah, we could have it there. Now, oh, this is an awful lot of earth mana going to be needed there. My lord. Oh, does watering not uh, have any slowdown on farms anymore? Oh, that's actually pretty cool. That's very cool. That is going to be crazy, the amount that that's going to draw. Now, do I want air boosters down here? Uh, yes. Maybe. And we can add earth boosters down here, or we can upgrade the pastures themselves. Uh, let's add the earth boosters just for the sake of it. And we'll see what we can do. Regardless, we're already starting to produce product, so uh, let's get a caravan set up correctly with... We want uh, eggs. And milk. To be taking from here over to the food market. I'd actually like a second one doing exactly the same thing. Eggs and milk. There we go. Oh, that's a lot of caravans going to be delivering all of this, but it should be nice. Yeah, it's looking really nice, actually. 28 houses have been satisfied. Well, fertilizer doesn't do it either. That's really, really cool. We're already hitting a reasonably uh, good amount there. I mean, milk is being produced a little bit slower. But certainly not for want of uh, the animal feed in there. Right. Well, given what we have here, I could go ahead. And deliver the fertilizer along at the back. Um... Sure, let's go ahead and do that then. Something like this will work. 
I want the slide to come up there. And we need one more layer before we can carry that across. One more elevation change. There we go. Yes, there's going to be, there's going to be a, <laughs> they're going to have to go under a tunnel of poop on their way, <laughs> on their way. Uh, there are times when I really wonder about myself. Um, hmm. How about we don't do this to them? Because that tunnel is also going to have to cross over the, uh, the town. How about, for once, we're actually a nice person? I think it's going to be novel. It's going to be grand. They'll sing stories about us. Today, Avak could have made us have to, to wade through a tower of poop. And he didn't. Happy days. Is this a sign of changing times? Who knows? But today... No poop for you. Well, I mean, there is going to be poop, but you don't have to, you know, travel under it, is all I'm saying. It's going to be nice and easy, and people are going to be happy, and it'll be just moved around by wagon. It's fine. Uh, I do need a grabber over here, set specifically to grab fertilizer. And that can indeed move via shoot. And then that fertilizer can then move across here, which will be fine. All the way across here. To this point. There we go. All right. And that's pretty much all we need. Pushes in these two. And then the terminus there. And a grabber. And of course a wagon. I think. A uh, caravan, rather. Oh. Yoink. And there we are. Fertilizer being delivered. And then, you know, applied to fields. Happiest of times. No, 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 no. The, the industrial town is welcome to wade through the poop. I mean, you know, it, I, I imagine this kind of, like, sort of Victorian times. You know, just poop flung out of the windows. And this river, this is how they imagine. And wish it looked. It's actually brown. And extremely deadly. You fall in there. They don't even bother trying to get you back up. They just say a prayer. That's it. They had a good run. Right, how are we doing down here? We're doing actually reasonably well. Wow. I hmm, I wonder if we even need these earth shrines, frankly. I'm kind of leaning in favor of not. That being said. Let's go ahead and upgrade. Wa-pow. And wa-pow. Like so. Well, these should uh, be able to output a little bit faster. Now, of course, this one is the one that's full up with uh, feed because this one is using more. So we do need a little bit uh, more going on. Uh, all right, let's uh, drop down a bunch of workers in these. I mean, I can just, you know, really push it, but I'm not entirely sure there's a reason for that. 
these are back stuffed with with grain now this is not able to get it out fast enough wow okay um hmm Each one of these farms needs to deliver the grain a little bit faster. Oh, actually, no, never mind. They're starting to uh, back stuff. Let's add all the grain workers that we can then. Down here, it's going reasonably well. Still not quite getting enough in there, though. This one isn't even able to output anymore. Hmm. Okay, then that that experiment was a bit of a failure. Fair enough. What we'll do instead is uh, we will do this. So I'm gonna dunk that down all the way. I'm going to have a shoot. Exiting like so. I want the grabber here. It was worth seeing if we could do it that way. And a silo over here. That they're able to export all of their um, animal feed into. And then a grabber from there, pulling the animal feed out. That should help out a little bit. Is that one not able to export? Let's have a look down there. Now for the life of me see whether it's moving out or not. Doesn't look like it. Is it pointing the wrong way? Hmm. Oh, of course, because I've got the uh, silo pointing, uh, as I mentioned earlier, when it comes to their outputs, they will never receive in their exit point. So since the exit point was facing that direction, even though I was grabbing stuff, it couldn't be pushed in. But there we go. That should allow us to empty out both of these uh, grain mills now. Adidak, thank you so much for the cheer, mate. That was really kind of you. Thank you. How are these doing now? Still slow. Still not quite able to get uh, enough um, feed out. So what can we do to help with that? Well, at this point, it's uh, a lack of grain getting in there. But that is more that we're not able to deliver the grain fast enough. So at this stage, let's uh, add in a little bit of an extra delivery mechanism. There we go. So this one can have a direct line from this farm. There we go. Meaning this one should be able to produce that little bit more animal feed. Likewise, this one can have one. All the way up. Now, of course, what I could do is have the silo able to output faster. But I think it's probably uh, a little bit easier for me to just have these two farms able to, to get rid of their grain that little tiny bit quicker. It'll take the pressure off this silo slightly. But we'll probably, more than enough... Composite. Yeah, we don't need these earth shrines on any level. So we're going to get rid of these. Wow, they were expensive to build for no reason. But that, that's a, a lesson for you. See if you need them before you build them.
But there we are. Now, can this silo output fast enough? New. No. <laughs> Why am I not surprised by that one? Uh, okay. Well, we've already got the infrastructure in place for us to have this silo outputting two items. And I think that's ultimately what we're going to do. We are going to slightly adjust it, obviously, because we no longer want it to be um, flowing downwards. So we do something like this. I can just remove straight away. But again, all the way down here and have an exact copy of what we've got. There we are. Hello, Tilly. Uh, give me a second. Tilly wants out. Come on, sweetheart. There we go. And she can me out to come back in when she's ready. There we are. Okay. Let's get another shoot set up. Uh, I'll start from over on this side rather than uh, at the top. There we go. Thank. And then all the way down. We need a splitter. And then a grabber. And that should allow us to empty this place out. We're, we're actually not able to export the animal feed faster than we're filling it. Impressive. Very impressive. We are now no longer able to import the water fast enough. That is doubly impressive. This one's fine, but this one needs a little bit of extra help, so I guess we're going to be giving it that. Let's go ahead and do exactly the same thing again. There we go. That should get enough in there. Now, I'm not sure if the well is going to be able to keep up. No, the well cannot keep up. The well is now finally starting to uh, drain. So this is where we're going to need the water booster. All right. But we are seeing... Let's go and have a look. How are we doing with happiness? Milk is the one that's holding back. Well, eggs a little bit as well. But I think part of that is probably that we've got such a long way for the caravans to travel. Hmm. That being said, let's have a look. Does it does it fully fill up? I mean, milk does. It doesn't last over long, though. Pop up and grab that. Yeah, we're not really pushing it right now. I think we could get a bit more going in terms of eggs. Like water is now the the limiting factor for our for our farm there. Now I could easily just have a second well. That would be a very simple solution. Instead of a, a mana regeneration setup. But that being said, I like the idea of it. We've got Earth mana needed in five locations, air mana needed in two, and water mana needed as well. I wonder what the output of a water shrine is. Hmm. How quickly can you produce water? One per second. How quickly can you produce water? One per 0 0.2 seconds. So really, this is never going to be better than a well. Do I have a cold today? Uh, no, no, I do not. Do I sound like I have a cold? Oh, no. I feel bad. But yeah, I, right now, water, water shrines just don't seem to be worth it on any level. But nevertheless, time for us to build a new setup. So I'm going to want mana transmission down here. 
given this scenario, I don't think that... Uh, I really don't think we're going to be able to get away with just six. I'm not even sure if nine will be enough. So I'm going to preempt that, but I'm not going to build more than six. We're going to give it a, a bit of time to see, but I'm going to prep things ready to see if we need more. All right, we need a mana. Oop. We need a different kind of mana. Uh, let's, yeah, there we are. Mana receiver down here. Uh, sure, that'll do. Right there. Uh, we will then get... And because we're going to be using this slightly differently, I'm going to build it up in a bit of a different way. Three. Hmm. We need them slightly further apart, actually. And then... I'm going to need this to rotate around. Can I not get that to work? Let me move this forward then, and this one down. It might be a little bit easier to position things. Oh, damn it. Anyway, I'm trying to save myself time. I'm making things worse. Okay. I'll just do this over here, and we will just have it uh, duck in like that. Now, if I want to, I can have extra ones, uh, extra mana shrines ejecting to the sides. We'll see how this works. I will need to have grabbers on these sides. There we go. I can almost guarantee that we're going to need more, though. <laughs> Bit of pee. Sure, since you used, uh, used channel points to highlight that, that message, fine. Can I put a link on the top of the go go go? I do sound a little stuffy, do I? I apologize, everyone. I don't feel like I've got a cold, though. For what it's worth. Right. Let us go ahead and set up the mana. Now we are going to want... <sighs> Water mana in the middle. Where are we going? Um... Earth mana is going to have to split up in this way, I'm going to say. So, water mana. Down here. Then out. Rather than up. Earth mana. Actually, we'll do it in a slightly different way so that I can filter it properly. Earth mana will pop down this way. And a little bit further out. We'll split off here. Hmm. No, this this prevent presents a bit of a problem for me. Um hmm. What's the best way to connect these up without them interfering with each other? Oh. I guess would be to have hmm. annoyingly I would need to have earth mana basically go under uh, through a mana pipe and then pop out here and connect up well, it's something I can do, certainly, but it's not really something I want to do. Uh, we'll continue with my original idea, then, to have the pipes going out this way so I can filter it. Earth mana can go up here, come down, to 
around here, then split here. Go into a pipe there, come up here. This one doesn't need to go into a pipe, so we won't bother. Come out that way. Now, they've got to get all the way around to here, annoyingly, but... Uh, whilst air mana goes in this direction, and come down here, split off, split off. And the earth mana, actually, will have it... Uh, once it's filtered, I want it to go through a splitter, so that it can split off in these directions. Up here, another splitter there. These ones will have more of a back uh, stuff than this one, which is a bit of a shame, but it is the way it is. There we go. And then everything will eventually meet back around here. That is a... <laughs> Oh, that is an interesting little connection, I will say, for certain. Dunk. Joe, thank you very much for the bits there, mate. And uh, Coralia, that is a place, yes. And Kip Marcus has got the correct translation there as well. Well played. <laughs> yes, there's a lot of spaghetti on the screen right now. But hopefully it's okay. Right, I need to bring this up a fair ways. Across. And then down. Dunk. So there will be actual mana crystals going through this pipe just to get into that pasture. And it'll be kind of cool, I think. I hope. I hope it'll be cool. We'll see. Uh, the splitter needs to be there, but it needs to be rotated. Uh, that does not need a splitter. This one will need a splitter. And this one will need a splitter. There we go. Now I need three fill. Oh, actually, no, I need a splitter over here as well. Now I need three filters. Air mana on this side. Earth mana on this one. And finally water on this one. And that should, if all goes well, work exactly as I've, I've laid out. It may not though. And additionally, annoyingly, <laughs> I have sealed us off down here. So uh, the ca caravan bringing along the manor is going to have to come a long bloody way. Uh, Earth manor first, though. Go ahead and bring that up. Oh, you can make it up there. That's good. Uh, have we got water manor over here? We've got air manor. We've got water ether. We don't have water manor. <laughs> That's fine. We'll pop this right about there. Oh, here she is. Thank you. Tilly may want to go out. She wanted to leave the room. Um, and she went to her food. I don't know if she's, what she's up to now. She ate it all and I don't know why she ate it. Okay. I'll go find it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Gotta take care of the cat, though. Right, there we go. Uh, is the splitter for the farms blocked off? Let me have a look. Thank you, Jet. Uh, no. Oh, that splitter should be fine. Oh, so, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, you're co quite correct. It is one block off. <laughs> yeah, complete derp that I am. Uh, right. Okay, so this should be for water crystals. And I'm going to want those water crystals delivered uh, right now, actually. Gonna need a little boat. Grabbing water crystals and bringing them over here. Please and thank you. Cheers, bud. Uh, how are we doing for air? In fact, we've used up a chunk of our air crystals. 
Water, not so much. I'll just allow one boat with water crystals to deliver because honestly, it's a ridiculous amount of water crystals it's carrying. More than we're going to need. And then I can just chill out. I'll make it a little dark as well. Yeah. Thank you for your service. For this, you get a dock. We'll make a little dock. Just pop in out here. Oops. There we go. Where you can rest. There we go. And we'll have something on this side as well. Probably want a lamppost. There we go. Lovely. Right. Uh-oh. Where's the caravan? It's going to deliver more earth crystals in it. Ah, damn it. Wait. Where are you going? What? I mean, not the problem this one time, but... Hmm. Could you go and drop off the air crystals too? Thank you. Could you then bring along some water crystals? Cheers. That works well. Oh, take care, Rosenkai. Yeah, that one's working as intended. Let's have a watch of that. I bet it looks really good to see. That. <laughs> yeah, it does. That's marvelous. I like it. Ah, oh, I approve. Truly, I do. But once we get the those water crystals up here, that'll be glorious. But for now, we've got a little bit of, you know, air mana moving through. Getting plenty of uh, animal feed moving into the areas that we need it to be. But it's really we're waiting on the water crystals. We, we need that before we can do anything else. Hello, Scoon. It's good to see how much a single well can can manage. And at this point, I do want to see what we can boost a single well up to, to managing. Uh, can you drop off the rest? Okay, you can chill out there for now. Let's have a watch of this. Hmm, okay, a single well does not need that many water crystals. Right now, let's make a bit of room. There we are. That's much better. Still not quite filling it, but on either side, actually. But at this stage, I would say that it's the first time that we uh, sincerely need uh, faster throughput than the conveyors can manage. And I'm hesitant, uh, nay, resistant to the idea that we should use metal conveyors. There we go. That one wagon is more than managing it. And we're going to do exactly the same on this side. We have a problem. The solution? Throw manpower at it until the problem goes away. Wow. A, f a, a whole wagon is not able to keep up with this. Despite this being boosted, my goodness. I mean, the, the chickens are doing fine, but oof. All right. All right. That is definitely a thing. Hmm. Okay. Well, what we can do to resolve this is... Oh, we... 
little dip like that, a wee little dip like that, and then we are going to have two two wells. It's it's really all we can do. Uh, well here and a well here. This is going to ruin this little area, and that does pain me something, something chronic in fact. But we're going to move things around. Right, move your butt over there. Your job is not to move from that well. Move your butt over there. Your job is not to move from this well. At this point, that that could be all I do. But I think, uh, I think I, I like the idea of just seeing if we can have two wells taking care of this. So, <sighs> don't. Of course. I should have uh, prepped this for the right type of stuff first, but that's fine. So let's allow that to be moved off. There we go. Done. Now with that, we can get rid of this, and then we will have exactly this again. Eggs. There we are. And we can get rid of that. And instead have two more wagons. Uh, actually... Why why am I worrying about wagons? I could just use... Because two wagons is the same amount of manpower. Uh, sorry, a wagon is the same amount of manpower as a caravan. It's just a caravan costs more to use. Um... I should have really gone for that straight away instead of uh, faffing around, but a, a single caravan can carry more than the entire output of a well. So it seems a little bit silly in a way, but uh, it's fine. Unless you had the well outputting into a uh, silo, <laughs> then maybe. But there we are. It's completely draining the output of that well. This is doing the same. And at this stage, actually, I'm going to move these caravans around. And just so that if I want to, and we get to the point that the output of these pastures is sufficient, I can still move product in that direction. But there we are. Right, let's uh, adjust this a little bit. Uh, why is the, that not taking? Oh, of course. I need to uh, set these up to have water boosters. There we go. There we go. Perfect. So at this stage, let's have a look. Are you able to output more? You most certainly are. In fact, your output is clogged. You're not able to move enough products exactly as I suspected. Let's add in a little bit more throughput. We want this to grab milk. This to grab eggs. Is that not taking eggs? Oh, initially it grabbed some water. My bad. There we go. Right. And we're back to the problem of not having enough animal feed. Uh, you know what? It's, it's, a, it's not a terrible problem to have, but we actually are producing enough. Which is the crazy thing. But at this stage, it's, it's getting the animal feed to the pastures. Are the charged crystals going to clog the recharge stations? Uh, they may in, in time. Absolutely. But it doesn't seem to be happening yet. 
It seems that we've got exactly the right amount in there that it's able to sustain the amount that it's uh, moving around. That being said, though, we want more earth crystals and we want more um, air crystals, so we are going to have to change it. Thank you very much for the bits, Badger Blast. Right. Let's pop these in then. There we go. Oops. Damn it. I always go one too many. There we are. And then we can just have these split over here. And that should allow more of them into the system. I would like to get more crystals into this, but realistically, we are not able to move enough of the the produced um, animal feed out of the grain mills. Um, how are we going to resolve that problem? Because now it becomes a problem of how do I get enough space to move it out, rather than anything else. Um, well, that said, oh, <laughs> okay, well, the problem has sort of fixed itself in that we can't, we we have now completely backstuffed the, uh, the barn. That is not a problem that's going to, uh, uh, not a... A solution that will necessarily be around for much longer because it's clear that we can afford now to have another caravan to bring milk and eggs. But to be honest, I wonder if maybe we don't need to fix the issue. If we are lucky enough that we are now delivering all of the uh, product that we need. Uh, however, this does now present a slight problem in that we are sending three wagons and potentially sometimes more than that, uh, up an area that isn't really designed for three wagons. So I do need to address that before it becomes a big issue. Because it will eventually become an issue. There we go. That should do. And there we go. Now, another way of fixing this, uh, in fact, is, is a fairly fairly um, nice solution, in my opinion. And that is to ensure that this is a one-way system. The way you can do that is uh, one way. One way done there. You plonk in something like this. Oops, a oh, daisy. Did I just get rid of that? Damn it, I just accidentally the wagon out of existence once again. Uh, why does the problem keep happening to me? Actually, you know what? We will have that like this. I do need to now make another bloody wagon, but okay. Ah. Uh, Please stop disappearing your orders. That was probably a full wagon too, because it was coming down the slope. But uh, the solution is stairs. Wagons, as far as I'm aware, cannot navigate stairs. So by having them there, you effectively create a one-way system. 
that he won't try to go up the stairs. But it kind of looks nice. Ah, uh, yes. It used to be that if any of the outputs were clogged, production would halt. But that was changed some time ago. Uh, so the fact that there is... Uh, th that I'm not getting the fertilizer out there won't impact the f uh, whether I produce milk or not. That used to be a real problem, actually. And what the way you'd get around that is this, the void obelisk. So, for example, if you were always producing more fertilizer than you could use, you'd have something like this, where the fertilizer you want to use goes into a silo, but then you'd also have a runoff point um, where if it can't go into the silo, so you'd have a pusher pushing it into the silo, but if it couldn't, it would go in this direction where there'd be a void obelisk, which simply deletes the item out of existence. <laughs> 